Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video is something I've started to do every month. We're talking about my latest obsessions. So if you want to find out what perfumes I cannot stop spraying and wearing, I need you to just keep watching. So without further ado, let's get into this month's obsession. Okay, so this first fragrance, do not at me, do not come at me because it's very, very hard to get in the US right now, but pray God that it will not be like that forever because when I tell you this fragrance has absolutely I put this on, I put this fragrance on. And literally I kept saying to myself, I don't think I've ever smelled this good. Like I don't think I've ever smelled this good. When I say the hype is real, when I say it is well deserved, Baby Cat by Yves Saint Laurent. I just, let me just take a moment. Okay, by the grace of God, I got this bottle. Below retail, sealed in the cellophane, brand new. I found the individual buyer, she had two. It wasn't quite her scent profile. She bought them when she was in Europe. So she unloaded one, okay? I bought hers and when I tell you, I'm so, so grateful that I decided to blind buy this fragrance. Samples, you can forget about it, okay? <laughs> um, going in to sniff in the US, nowhere. They don't even have this on the US website. I don't know if they ever have and they stopped, but it's virtually like not sold in the US, period right now. Selfridges was the retailer carrying Baby Cats when it was released and they sold out. I don't know if they plan on restocking it with Selfridges because that would be your only hope to get it um, here in the US, but I'll try to keep an eye on it for you and see if they get it restocked, but I don't know. So it's readily available in you know the UK on the YSL UK website, but this fragrance is phenomenal. This fragrance has a prominent leather like suede. I, you know I do not like leather and suede in my fragrances. I do not like that in my fragrances. I have two other fragrances that have like a leathery nuance and it's quite slight. So when I tell you, I was like, I don't know about this, but everyone rest assured that I don't like leather either girl, but you need to, you need it to you. It smells amazing. This vanilla fragrance is so stunning. It is a very, Classy, oh my God, it is uber classy, like suede incense. The incense is very, 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 very prominent. It is so smooth and well blended, but I feel like if you do not like incense, this will not be a scent for you. You can still try it. You know, we always have those, those, um, what do you call them? Anomalies, you know, in fragrance. Oh, I don't like patchouli, but you may find one that's a prominent patchouli that you love. Um, I can be that way too. So it's just, just err on the side of caution if you hate incense about blind buying. This is what I'm trying to say. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. So you have this incense. When I say the vanilla, it's like this heaping triple dose of vanilla and it is so beautiful. It is sweet. Like I said, just a very elevated incense vanilla scent. That is what you're getting, but it's just something extremely addictive about it. Like, O-M-G. That is all I have to say. Baby Cat is everything that people are hyping it up to be. You know, it's the worst thing for something to be hyped up and then you smell it and it's just like crickets. It's like, I don't get it. I'm like, my nose don't understand. My nose understood the assignments. I love it and Jesus Christ. I mean, 
I would not be surprised if this ends up on the top 10 for life next year. Like this fragrance is beautiful. People compare it to um, Rosendo number five. I don't get that. Like I can see, like I can wrap my mind around people um, finding similarities, but Rosendo is very musk, amber musk. This is very uh, incense. And I feel like the, the incense and the musk, people can kind of, I don't know, their nose can kind of perceive them similarly. That is, you know, and they're both sweet. They both have this vanilla component. But other than that, they're very different fragrances. Like you're not gonna get this and think, oh, this smells so close to Rosendo 5, I don't need, like, I need both. I need both of these in my life. You can just go ahead and say, this is the best blind buy of 2022. Period. I'm obsessed with baby cat. Magnetic top, chic bottle. I mean, y'all need to quit playing. Bring it to the States. Quit playing. Okay, so the next one up on this list is going to be from the house of Liquid Imaginaire. And this is Dom Rosa. So, I have another like rose champagne fragrance in my collection. When I say this one, did not come to play. This girl right here. Um, the champagne is champagning. Okay. This thing is boozy. Like the champagne and this thing is so loud. My daughter smelled it and she was almost repulsed. She was like, this smells like a very, very strong wine, mommy. <laughs> so funny kids. Very, very unique rose. Very unique rose scent because it's almost like you're getting so many different takes on this fragrance when you smell it. Like it's champagne and rose. It's a metallic rose. It's very, a very woody, very, very woody rose. Like it is so many things. And I feel like that is what makes it super unique. This is not gonna be a rose for everyone. Actually, if you are not a fan of rose scents, you may like this. If you, are looking for a unique, stunning rose, you need to get your nose on this. Like this is, I've I've been telling y'all to get y'all nose on this house for some time now, and it's very underrated. This fragrance, it's um, a very prominent, like pomelo or grapefruit, but less sharp. You know, that's typically what a pomelo will smell like. A less sharper version of grapefruit. Um, and then you have this, beautiful, gorgeous rose. And you have a very, very prominent champagne accord in its fragrance. Now the final dry down is quite woody. It's a little bit of a fruity uh, nuance to it, but wow, I mean, special occasion rose, stunning rose, bubbly, uplifting, like stunning, stunning. Dom Rosa. The play on words, Dom Rosa, Dom Perignon, like, listen, we are popping bottles up in here. We popping bottles <laughs> when we wear the Dom Rosa. You need to put this on when you got somewhere to go, somewhere to be. Love it. Very, very unique opulent rose and champagne scent. Love this fragrance. Get your nose on it. Now, they have this in stock at Door Prestige. If you, uh, click the link and use my discount code. You can save 10% on this purchase. It is in stock. You need to run, don't walk, okay? All right, so next one up on the list is from the House of Epico. Look, y'all gonna be coming at me and talking about why you got these hard to find fragrances. I'm just letting you know what I'm obsessed with, okay? Fresh off the plane from Italy, child you gonna have to pay to get this ship over to you. Best advice, try to get your nose in it first to even determine if it's worth all of that. The shipping is outrageous. So if you are in the frag com community and you know two or three of y'all want to get this in your life, go in on a group shipment. Then it's cost effective. Um, Vinny Charnel, what the heck, man? This vanilla is absolutely delicious. This vanilla is, it's straightforward vanilla, but it's accented with these, these candied fruits in the opening, okay? 
the caramel is, is a very unique caramel to me because this comes off, it's like a buttery vanilla. It's almost literally like an oily, buttery, but still creamy, um, wearing vanilla experience. It is so delicious. God dang, I was finna cuss, but I'm not. It is so delicious. It is so beautiful. Uh, like most straightforward vanillas, it's not gonna be a loud projector. This is going to sit a little close to the skin, but it lasts for hours on your clothes and skin, like eight, 10 hour wear for sure. I didn't think this was projecting much, but I was sitting at a desk. I'm like the first person everyone sees, you know, when they come in, um, and I was at a school and the, the, the like three different students walked in at different times. I was like, mm, wow, it smells really good in here. There was no air freshener, no nothing popping, no candles burning. It was me, period. Like it's always me. <laughs> but oh, Vani Charnel is gorgeous. If you are a girl that enjoys those straightforward vanillas, like without the spice and without the, you know, we're not talking about the Ani, um, you know, complex spicy vanilla type of lovers. Those are not, this is not that. This is simple, but it is stunning, okay? It's not incredibly expensive. It's just getting it over here <laughs> can be expensive. Um, it's a 3.4, actually, yeah, 3.4 ounce, 100 mil. So I feel like this is worth the price point for the actual price of the perfume itself. But I thoroughly enjoy this fragrance, love it. And I just couldn't get over how like scrumptious I smelled when I wore this, you know, uh, to work the other day. I absolutely love it and highly recommend you trying to get your nose on like fragrance groups. If you're a part of any, try to get a sample because I don't know how else you would get one. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful fragrance. Epico is the house again. Is it Epico Home Emotions? I don't know if this. I know Epico, okay? I don't know if all of this is in the name, but this house has been around since 1984. And my first scent from the house and absolutely love it. Edipo Foam Concentration, highly, highly recommend. Next one up on this list. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you, if you show up and you ride for your subscribers, they gonna show up and they gonna ride for you. I'm sorry. I get emotional when I think about like my my YouTube family. Like it's it's unreal. I wanted this dang on Shalimar Tonka release and it sold out almost immediately. If you know anything about how they do these releases for the Shalimars, they drop them, initial drop and so, sometimes that's it. Like the vanilla one that came out last year, honey, when that first sell out is sold out that is it so you're gonna be left with paying three four times the amount of this you know 100 dollars fragrance so i really wanted it um and my subscriber purchased three of them she said sharita i don't need three okay so when they get here one is yours what what the what what the what Thank you so much, you beautiful, beautiful woman. You know who you are. I love it. I love this. I have never smelled the original Shalimar, but judging on when it was made, I'm sure it does smell very old lady and outdated, which is the reputation that it gets. But they often release so many flankers for the Shalimars, and I've smelled flankers. Beautiful, beautiful. Start smelling these more modern, you know, renditions of Shalimar and these flankers because they're stunning. This literally, the perfume guy described this perfectly. This smells like Shalimar or some variation of the OG. <laughs> and um, Tonka Imperial had a baby. That is what this smells like. I wanted, I was literally going to purchase Tonka Imperial and add to my arts and materials collection. Now that I have this, I don't think I need to because the, the Tonka, the way the Tonka is done in here, it literally smells like a blend of not just Tonka bean, it smells like Tonka Imperial and another fragrance blended together. But you get so much Tonka. Oh my God, you get 
I'm going to I'm going to smell them side by side tonight and just kind of try to pick out the differences. But this is a huge dose of Tonka Imperial esque <laughs> Accord in this fragrance. So you really don't need both. You really do not. So I'm so grateful that I was able to get this um, and not spend, spend $360 on adding another Arts Materials because this is stunning. It is gorgeous. Even if you do not like Shalimar, you will probably still like this fragrance. Now, how are you gonna get a bottle? I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna have to find an individual seller, obviously, unless Guerlain um, restocks it. Some people will get these, okay? People are still getting their shipments and they spray and they don't like it. They're gonna unload it on Macari, hopefully not gouging. Of course, you're gonna get some people that do that, but some people really will let it go at a reasonable amount, like what they pay for, or sometimes even lower. Like for example, I really did get my baby cat, um, like I said, for a little under the retail price. Um, so yeah, if it's something that you really want, if you love Tonka, this is this is just a stunning fragrance. Again, this is Shalimar. I forget the, uh, the full name, but it's the new release, the Tonka one, okay? <laughs> All right, so the last one on this list, last but not least, is going to be from the House of Siage, okay? This is Mini. Like, I love Mickey, but I love Mini, okay? So this fragrance is literally giving me what, in my mind, I thought I was gonna get from the Burberry Elixir. Not saying that this smells like Burberry Her, okay? I'm not saying that. But this is a strawberry with caramel, okay? And it is giving me all of the sweet deliciousness that, I mean, Burberry Her Elixir just feels short for me. That is just how I feel about it. And I think maybe it's just because of how it smells on me. You know, it wasn't the nose of MFK, so it was missing the magic in my opinion. Um, but yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So if you love a gourmand, this is one you need to, to try, okay? Always wait for a house of sillage sale. Never pay full price. This is a very, very brand new release and they still weren't selling. And I knew they were gonna put it on sale, that's why I waited. So I was able to get this, um, you know, 30% off and I feel like it's a gorgeous fragrance. I cannot stop wearing it. So you've got marshmallow. And so in the beginning, I feel like you're getting this very sweet strawberry marshmallow that is a little bit powdery but when it dries down, it becomes a very addictive, like vanilla, caramel, fruity, delicious experience. I love the caramel note in this scent. That is what is really just kind of sending me over the edge. I think that this is beautifully executed. I feel like um, I got maybe about, I'll say, six to eight hours, like it doesn't have the best longevity, um, but it has a beautiful projection and it's about moderate. It, ha it has about moderate performance over spray and you're going to get, you know, compliments for sure. I love it, my daughter loves it and I am very happy with this purchase, of course. This was a blind buy, uh, I think like all of my other House of Sillage fragrances, yeah, blind buy and I do not regret it. Very addictive scent. And I feel like each time I wear it, I love it more and more. It's so, like I said, rich, addictive, and delicious. So if you're looking for a gourmand that is, you know, gonna be actually one I feel like you could wear year round if you're into sweets year round, this one would be perfect. But I feel like in the fall, it's just giving me all of my sweet, delicious coziness, um, you know, that I love this time of year. Again, that is many by House of Siage. All right, you guys, so that is the video for today. Drop me a comment below. Let me know fragrances that you just cannot seem to stop spraying. I am super curious and would love to hear, you know, your obsessions at the moment. Um, also, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure the notification bell is turned on to all and give the video a big thumbs up if you found any value in the content. 
You guys, it has been real. I love you all, and I will catch you on the next one.